right to our final portion of the measurement training, at least as far as video goes. And that's decimals. Decimals can really make people's eyes glaze over, um, become a little confusing. But we're computerized and computers need decimals to read. So that's what we have to learn. Again, it's memorization, but also we can break it down. And the easiest way I've found to do this is to use money. We're kind of familiar with money and hopefully with this training we'll see a little more money in our bonuses. So here's my handy dandy uh, homemade quarter. 25 cents. Quarter, that sounds familiar. One quarter equals 25 cents. I'm going to refer you to something else. Quarters of an inch go two places past the decimal point when they're called out. So, 25 cents, one quarter, or... So if one quarter of an inch equals 25 cents, and quarters go two places past the decimal point, it's point two five. We all know that two quarters is 50 cents, or half a dollar, this being one dollar as we write it like this, 50 cents, which is written five zero, this is point five zero, You'll, we'll put the zero there to make it easier, but really point five is good enough. Three quarters make 75 cents, so three quarters of an inch is then written 0.75. Okay, so there's your quarters. 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, and 1.0. Now, the rest of them are really, again, back to the half of this is, ha is that. Or, even easier, it's greater than or less than. So, eighth inches. For eighths, they will go three places past the decimal point. Okay, so we're going to start with one eighth of an inch. And it is written point one two five. Point one two five. So get into your greater than less than. It's greater than zero. It's less than 25. You just look at the 12. Just take the, the 12. The 12 is between 0 and 25. Even easier than that, to break it down even further, 0 0.12 is much smaller than 0.5. So you know you can forget all that, just like we did with the fractions. So that might start you off easier. 0 0.12, smaller than 0.5, so we know it's over here. 0.12 is between 0 and 0.25, so 1 eighth is 0.125. Make sense? 12 between 0 and 25. Moving up the scale, 3 eighths between 25 and 50. It's written 0.375, so 37. 37 falls between 20. 5 and 50. So 3 eighths is 0.375. Alright, to the other half, oops, to the other half we go 0.5, so 5 eighths is bigger than 0.5 and is written 0.625 or 62 falls right between 50 and 75. So 0.625 is 5 eighths. And the last one is 7 eighths written 0.875. So 87, 87 falls right between 75 and 100. 
It's not as hard as it may seem at times. Okay, we're going to move right on to sixteenths. Okay, so sixteenths, as we say, go four places past. We're just going to move up to scale again. Now I'm going to start off the back. Just pick one at random here. 0 0.8125. 0.8125. Well, where might that go? Okay, well, first of all, we know it's sixteenths because it's four places past the decimal. Also, starting, look at 81. 81. It's past 50. And it's also past 75. So we not only can eliminate this half, we can eliminate this quarter. And we know that that's going to fall between 75 and 1. 81 is bigger than 75. So, it goes right there. 8125 is 13 sixteenths. Now, how did I know it didn't go there? Well, let me show you how that works. And it's how they work together. It went there and not there. Because I happen to know what 13 sixteenths is, but if you had a whole stack of these numbers or a whole list, you could figure it out too because 81 is bigger than 75, smaller than 1. The next choice is 0.9375, so that's big. 93 is bigger than 81, smaller than 1. So it's going to go past there and before there. And the only 16th mark left is 15 sixteenths, so 15 sixteenths is 0.9375. 93 between 75 and 100, bigger than 81. 0.6875. Okay, so let's, let's noodle this one. 68, smaller than 75, bigger than 50. Here's another way to figure it out. Smaller than 75, bigger than 50. And we know 5 eighths is 62. 0 0.62. That's 0 0.68. So if it's a little bigger, it's going to go there. Point four three seven five. You got 43. Okay. 43 smaller than 50. Smaller than a half a dollar. Forget that. Focus on this half. 43, okay. It's between 25 and 50. Ah, 3 eighths is 37. 43 falls between 37 and 50. It's got to be 7 sixteenths. 0.5625. Again, you know it's sixteenths, four places past the decimal point. It's bigger than 50 smaller than 75, and also smaller than 62. So it's between 50 and 62. 9 sixteenths is 0.5625. Step way over here. 0.0625, 0.0625. Zero six. Smaller than 25, bigger than 0. 6, 0 0.06, or 6, is smaller than 12 too, so 1 16th is 0 0.0625. 3 16ths is 0 0.1875, smaller than 25, bigger than 12, goes right there. And finally, by elimination, 0 0.3125, bigger than 25, smaller than 37. 0.3125. Hopefully that simplifies it and helps you understand them just a little better. Thank you.